in Ibiza. And this is my house for the summer and I'm, I'm excited. We've got two residencies. There's so lots of family and friends coming over this summer to relax here, to chill here. In my studio is upstairs. Hopefully gonna make some music this summer and gonna have fun. Sexy Louis is there. It's my fifth year on the island and my third year with a residency. And this year we're doing two residencies instead of one. So last year we only did Ushuaia. And this year we're doing Ushuaia every Thursday and every Monday we are playing the new nightclub in Hai. It's, it's a really, really crazy, beautiful club. Then Tuesday, Wednesday I'm off, but I got my studio here. It's not a, not a real studio, but it's, it's enough for me to work, write music. I fly friends out, I fly songwriters out, and we just chill in the house. We make music whenever we feel like making music. And so that happens mostly on the Tuesday, Wednesday. Then on Thursday, I play Ushuaia every week. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I play all over the world. I sleep a lot on flights. On the way to Vegas, I think I slept the whole 15 hours of traveling. So yeah, it's, if, if I sleep enough while I travel, I have enough energy to run around like a crazy person and be more tired. This show is very nipples. <laughs> what a really good, good, good summer. Martin is killing it in four venues in Ushuaia on Thursday and Monday. Crazy! I'm and stoked! And Thursday is at high. Gonna be great. Just another day. In the crazy Ushuaia. I was looking forward to it, nervous, but uh, you know, it's it's hard to follow up an act like this. It, it's pretty much impossible. So uh, the fact that I get to be around somebody like him and he shows me the ropes is uh, it's, I'm, I'm I'm very grateful, and fortunate. So just yeah, yeah. thanks, brother. I think every DJ has Ibiza on his list of goals. Everyone wants to have a residency here, or at least play there every season, um, because it's the mecca of dance music. So many different clubs, different genres, different artists, like everything is, electronic music-wise, is represented here on the island. I love to go to Ushuaia. That's probably why I don't rest that much in Ibiza, but I love to go to Ushuaia, see Axel and Grosso play, see, see, see Kaigo play, and, and, and just, get inspired by how their nights are, how they build their sets, how the atmosphere is. And then it's great that I have a studio here so I can go up, get inspired by them and, and, and make new music. Ibiza has always been a, a place that suits Martijn really well because it's such a, you know, there's, he needs to do something all the time. Like every day he can't sit still very long. It's very hard to keep up with Martin because like uh, he's still very young and he's running from left to right. Uh, Long hours, yeah. that's what I chose for. He used to come a lot, but now he's just been touring too much. He's been in Vegas for so long. <laughs> he's like, no, I can't come tomorrow. I've got to go to Vegas. See you, and then he's out. I'm so 
I think this is the fifth song Matisse Sotko and I are making together. Dem and I are so much on the same page about melodies, chord progressions, sounds, and working with them is, is, is like working with an extra part of my brain, basically. It's, it's, it's weird, but we can connect on so many levels in the studio. Also, not even in the studio, but also just in, in, in daily life. People named the song on the internet forever, and we didn't have a song name yet, and we liked the song name forever, so... I don't know who did it, but thanks to you, we're gonna name it forever. <laughs> We're working on 20 songs at the same time. <laughs> Story of my life. We have this problem, we as producers, when we're stuck on something, we start something new. And then we're stuck on a new thing and we, st we start something new again. And then we have 20 unfinished things. And what's uh, it complaining and begging us to finish? I picked a favorite song out of the 20, finish that one. And then like 90% of the time, the other 20 songs don't don't get released. Right now, how many unreleased songs do you have? Including ideas, MIDI files, etc., vocals, I think over 100. In this laptop. Crazy. One of the songs I did completely in, in, in the Ibiza house here this summer was Pizza. Because uh, I wanted to make a song, especially for Tomorrowland, for the closing, because they asked me to close the weekend, I was like, Shit, that's, that's, that's an honor. So I wanted to do it good, I wanted to play something new, something euphoric, and I did think 90% think of the song here. And then I have an amazing guy in, uh, in the Netherlands called Frank, and he's amazing with strings. So I just sent him, sent him like all the melodies, all the things I had in mind, and he, he recorded it in one day for me, sent it back to me, and the same weekend I played a complete new song tomorrow. And so, Shout out to eating pizza in Ibiza and getting inspired. Playing pizza for the first time live at Tomorrowland, I had goosebumps everywhere. I know the song transfers happiness to me, just like pizza does. So playing the song live, seeing the response on it, seeing, some, seeing a couple getting engaged during the song, it's, I, it, it was amazing. And, I think also that's why I released it so quickly, because I was like, I really, really want to put this out as soon as possible. Enjoy pizza, guys. Morning after all this online. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I just yesterday with my dumb head. Ik dacht dat ik te morgen en te of gisteren online kwam. Dus ik kijk zo die aftermove. Ik spoel er de hele aftermove heen. Ik denk dat die. Ik stuur die track op. Gebruik ze voor de teaser. Stop ze maar gewoon niet in. Dat is een ander stukje. Nee, dat is van vorig jaar. 16. Ja. <laughs>